Ahoy, fellow comrades, this is Squid Tart here, back with another episode of the Squid Tart Podcast and another college football team schedule preview. We got Florida State today, and uh, I'm actually kind of excited to do this one. Before we get into it, I just wanted to say, um, I just wanted to say thank you guys for supporting this channel throughout me doing all of these. I'll have many more of these coming up before we get to the summer when I actually start doing schedule predictions. I'll try and do all the teams I've covered already as in predictions. I've only done previews of their schedule and I plan to do the predictions as we get closer to the summer and probably into the summer heading into college football 2020 season. People again, people keep on saying that there won't be a won't be a season cuz of coronavirus, but I highly doubt that that'll be the case. I think things will be calmed down by then. I mean, we never know. We never know, but I there'd be no point just sitting around and doing nothing. So, I'm going to continue making these videos and in the scenario where the season does get canceled, Oh well. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and get right into this. Um, so Florida State, uh, I've actually really wanted to cover this team because Florida State, they're really like, after, they're, they're going to be a really interesting team to watch this year, I think. After losing um, after losing Willie Taggart, uh, well, that isn't really a big loss. Most people wanted Willie Taggart gone at Florida State. He was not doing well there, and uh, a lot of people really wanted him gone, mostly Florida State fans. I mean, it's kind of sad because Florida State, at, at the time before this 2019 season started, they were projected to go, I believe, 10-2 and with a 10-win season or something like that, and ended the season with firing Willie Taggart. So, that a tough season for Florida State. Their 2019 season they finished i believe yes yeah, six and seven with a sun bowl loss to arizona state so regular season six and six uh no, i wouldn't call it a really good season for florida state in fact it was it was an ugly season to say the least you go out and lose to boise state the first game and then you you lose to virginia uh, after co somehow miraculously winning an overtime game against louisiana monroe then you, of course, lose to Clemson. You lose to Wake Forest, two teams that had better records than you. And then you lose to Miami as well. That's the one that kind of caught me, is Miami, losing to them 27-10. to I did not expect that one, really. I thought you all would be able to win that one, but no, Miami wins in that game. You were good enough to be able to go to a bowl game, but I think Florida State fans, their expectations were a lot higher than what they actually got. So, of course, Willie Tiger was fired at the end of the season. And speaking of the Florida game, uh, yeah, not not didn't look too good. 40-17. to 17. Regardless, though, it was a pretty ugly season for Florida State in 2019. 2020, things look to be quite a bit different. Uh, you got your new head coach in Mike Norville. The, it's the same head coach that brought Memphis to their glory and made them the best group of five team uh, last year. Rip UCF, by the way, but no, no one cares about them. Regardless, though, he's your new head coach. He's brought in a new coaching staff. You're losing a lot of talent, though. You've got quite a few of your best players, including Cam Akers, going into the NFL draft. It's going to be interesting to see if you can build off those pieces that you're losing. And it's there's quite a few. So, I don't know. This could definitely be a different era. This could definitely be a start from the se for the Seminoles. A brand new start with a brand new head coach. Uh, and a brand new change of offense and defense. It'll be interesting to see how that'll unfold. I don't expect this new type of thing. It, it's going to be like a lot of what these teams, like big name programs with failing head coaches, it's, it'll, it'll be a lot like what they're doing when they fire their head coach at the start of, or at the end of a bad season, and then they bring in a new head coach, and he builds in a brand new offense, defense. I mean, you get the whole thing. I'm not telling you anything you probably don't already know. So let's go ahead and get right into what their schedule looks like. So their 2020 schedule, you start off in Atlanta against West Virginia. That one will be an interesting one to watch, and it could be a season-deciding game for both of those teams. So it'll be interesting to see how that'll unfold. Next up, you got um, Sanford at home. 
Should be an easy game. Then you're playing on the road against Boise State. You lost to them last time. It'll be interesting to see if you can win this one. After a bye week, you play NC State on the road, back at home against Clemson. You got another home game against Wake Forest. After that, on the road to play Louisville, back at home against Pitt, back again on the road at Miami. So you got a lot of uh, different like road, right? Road home, road home. It'll be neat to see how that turns out. You got homecoming though after Miami against Boston College. Then back out on the road again against Syracuse. And then finally, your final home game against Florida. So, quite a tough schedule here, I'd say. Things are set up, though, and some of these games are set up in the favor of Florida State, but this is a pretty tough schedule. So, I'll point this out. And I said the same thing to West Virginia when I did their schedule preview. That first game... That is going to be, I think, a very big deciding factor of how this season could turn out. You win that game, you could be looking at a pretty good season. You lose that game, it could be an ugly one. I'm thinking that game will, will really decide where where this team will go. And you've definitely got some, some tough games on here. That NC State game, that Boise State, uh, both of those games will be tough. Of course, Clemson and Wake Forest. Two teams that had better records than you, they'll give you some trouble. Uh, Miami going on the road to play them, that will definitely be tough. And then, of course, you got you still got to play Florida and Pitt. So you got some tough games here. And losing to West Virginia could very well knock you off the map. I don't think that's a very big possibility, but it is a possibility that Florida State could end up uh, without a bowl game this season if things go south. But you win that West Virginia game, though. It could be a pretty good season for uh, Florida State. Say you start off 3-0 and with wins over West Virginia and Boise State. After that bye week, I think you'll have a lot of momentum going into NC State. You'll beat them. Uh, then you go 1-1 one one against Clemson and Wake Forest. You go uh, beat Louisville, beat Pitt. And then uh, you go two and two or three and one against uh, the last four on your schedule. So, best case scenario in that in that circumstance would be around nine and three or ten and two. So, it, yeah, if everything goes right, I think you absolutely could be looking at a ten and two or nine and three season, and that would be a good season for Florida State, especially Mike Norville starting off as his first year. Uh, like head coach first year at Florida State. So, I mean, things are going to be very different from how they were at Memphis, just regarding talent level and stuff and having to build a program from the ground up after what's what happened to Florida State. So we'll see how that goes. So hmm, I guess we can go ahead and already, um, I'll go ahead and make my general schedule predictions off of this. I won't pick, I, I, again, I won't pick exactly which games you'll win or lose. I'll just say generally what I think a schedule look could be. So, again, this is based on West Virginia, that first game. You win that game, I'm thinking, it, it's, a, it's a tough call. But just based on what I know and what I've seen, I, you could be looking at an 8-4 and four season. Somewhere around there. That's the what I'd call the most accurate you lose to west virginia i think around six and six you'll if you lose to west virginia i'm thinking the momentum will drop and you might drop another game with that so who knows my general prediction revolves around seven and five or eight and four i'm actually right now i'm favoring you in that game against west virginia so i am not entirely sure if you can win, though, but I, I'd say around right now where I'm looking at, I think around a 60% chance. So that's a better chance of preserving a pretty good 2020 season. So, hey, uh, bright news for Florida State, I guess. Anyway, though, that's pretty much my Florida State schedule preview. If you guys like the video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll be making more of these schedule previews soon. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, power to Tart Area.